வணக்கம் ஐ மிஸ்ஸஸ் அம்பிகை செல்வகுமார் ஆன் பிஹாஃப் ஆஃப் ஆல் தமிழ்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்ரீலங்கா ஹூ ஆர் த விக்டிம்ஸ் ஆஃப் கண்டினியூ ஜெனசைட் சின்ஸ் நைன்டீன் ஃபோர்ட்டி எயிட் ப்ளீட் யூகே பிரைம் மினிஸ்டர் இன்டர்நேஷ்னல் கம்யூனிட்டி செக்ரட்டரி ஜெனரல் ஆஃப் யுனைடெட் நேஷன்ஸ் யூஎன் ஹை கமிஷனர் ஃபோர்ட்டி செவன் மெம்பர்ஸ் மெம்பர்ஸ் கண்ட்ரீஸ் ஆஃப் யூஎன் ஹியூமன் ரைட் கவுன்சில் to save Tamils from continuing genocide in North and East of Sri Lanka. Tamils across the globe pleaded with the international community and UN to stop the ongoing genocide in 2009. Unfortunately, our cry fell in deaf ears and over 400,000 Tamils were herded and over 70,000 Tamils were killed using high caliber munitions prohibited weapons including chemical weapons hyperbaric bombs and cluster bombs in sri lanka hospitals and designated no fire zones were targeted and bombed intentionally killing vulnerable civilians including young old and injured the responsibility to protect is a global political commitment which was endorsed by all member states of united nations by failing to protect tamils despite plea from tamils across the globe un has failed its responsibility to evoke rtp genocide of tamils have been perpetrated on tamil nation by successive governments of sri lanka with impunity systematic structural and cultural genocide continue to date in institutionalized impunity tamils in north and east of sri lanka lives in fear under oppressed genocidal government in an open prison if the britain had let the island as they captured Tamil would not have faced genocide and the island of Sri Lanka would have had two great Tamil and single nations unfortunately joining the three kingdom for administrative purpose and leaving the two nations as one meant the indigenous Tamils became the minorities in their own country 30 years of gandhian struggle led by tandai selva was crushed with violence forcing tandai selva to recommend armed struggle to youth 30 years of armed struggle established a de facto state that was praised by even civilized countries tamils flourished during this time and it was crushed during 2009 Now nearly 12 years since the end of armed struggle Tamils are left in the mercy of genocidal government while arbitrary detention without trial torture sexual violence enforced disappearances extrajudicial killings mysterious death continue in Tamil nations the perpetrators are promoted posted as diplomats and celebrated as war heroes tamils were hopeful as we read un high commissioner's statement and hope justice will be served at least after 12 years to the victims of genocide however we were devastated and felt betrayed reading the zero draft statement that was leaked last friday as this statement neither made any reference to the Tamil community who are the majority of the victims in Sri Lanka nor address the desire of the victims which is to request to refer Sri Lanka to international criminal court create an international independent investigative mechanism triple im similar to that of Myanmar recommend a UN, UN monitored referendum to determine the aspiration of Tamil people in Sri Lanka on the basis that the north and east of Sri Lanka is the traditional Tamil homeland and Tamils have the right to self-determination. Tamils across the globe have 
consistently repeated since Mulliwai Kal massacre phase of the Tamil genocide in 2009 to refer Sri Lanka to ICC. This is also the unanimous demand of all the victims, including the Tamils, Muslims and other ethnic groups in Sri Lanka. In 2015, more than 1.5 million people around the world, 70,000 in Sri Lanka, signed a petition to refer Sri Lanka to ICC. In 2009, the International Commission of Juries endorsed this by stating that referral to Sri, Sri Lanka to ICC was formally warranted. On behalf of Tamils in Sri Lanka and across the globe, I humbly request UN Human Rights Council's 47 member state, including the core group on Sri Lanka, to pass a strong resolution in the 46th UN Human Rights Council session and save the Tamils. As our plea to save Tamils from genocide and seek accountability fell in deaf ears, I hereby give you a formal notice that I will commence the fasting unto death unless upon the core group on Sri Lanka acknowledging that there is no prospect of accountability in Sri Lanka by the way of its own domestic mechanism or through hybrid mechanism. Upon fully endorsing the call for decisive action at the 46th session of the UNHRC, released by all major Tamil political parties and civil society organizations representing the north and east of Sri, Sri Lanka dated 15th January 2021. And upon fully supporting all the demands outlined by the Pottuville to Polihandi P2P protests conducted by the North and East Civil Society dated 7th February 2013. I call upon the UK government to amend the zero draft resolution to be presented to the 46th UN Human Rights Council to one, recommend to the UN Security Council and the UN General Assembly to take up the matters of accountability and consider referring Sri Lanka to International Criminal Court and any other appropriate and effective international accountability mechanism to inquire into the crime of genocide, war crimes, and crimes against humanity. Establish an international independent investigative mechanism like the one established for Myanmar, WIWM, or to the one established for Syria, IIIM, namely the international impartial and independent mechanism mandated to collect evidence of the most serious international crimes and violations of international laws and to prepare files for criminal prosecutions. A meaningful international independent investigative mechanism should gather evidence from the tunnels affected by the genocide while also making use of information and evidence contained in the OISL report of September 2015 and must have a strict time frame. Three, mandate the Office of High Commissioner of Human Rights to appoint a special repertoire, continue to monitor Sri Lanka for an ongoing violation and have an 
OHCHR field presence in the country. Recommend a UN monitored referendum to determine the aspiration of Tamil people in Sri Lanka on the basis that the Tamil north and east of Sri Lanka is the traditional Tamil homeland and the Tamils have the right to self-determination. I declare that the hunger strike for the truth and justice will not be brought to an end at any circumstances unless until at least one of the demands are fulfilled by the UK government. Honorable Eric Solheim, while addressing the Tamils on World Human Rights Day 2021, asked the Tamils to unite and he explicitly said only Gandhian way of struggle will be heard by the international community. While I was in the meeting, I asked Eric Solheim if I sat on hunger strike, will he galvanize the international community? His response was, international community understands only Gandhian way of struggle. As Tamils from motherland and diaspora Tamils have voiced these four demands unanimously. I would request the international community to grant justice. We lost our sovereignty. We want to regain. Please stop the continuing genocide. Tamils are human. We have the right to live. International community can help us to do that. Tamils have done everything you have asked us to do. To the least, please complete any one of these four demands. 57 countries currently are facing genocide. Sri Lankan way of genocide has been copied even in Myanmar. This is going to be a trend if you fail to save Tamils, there will be more genocidal governments. As international communities, we pledge never say never again. I remember pleading in 2009 that after 10 years, Tamil's genocide will be discussed. I am not an astrologer, but that prediction has come true. Even after 12 years, we are fighting to save the Tamils back home. Please, please save them. Thank you. Tamils needs you.